Bowvote has sold over 5 million copies. Where is my music? In only 3 days. 5 million? That's crazy. Some of the biggest games of last year didn't sell that much. This really shows how badly people want the Pokemon game in the modern era. Yeah, honestly, all the Pokemon fan refugees <laughs> that want a good Pokemon game. Now, the thing that they have to do next with so many copies so this pushing good updates and definitely taking the game out of early access. Obviously, it's not gonna happen in a week too, but like, I, I, I won't expect new house like in a month obviously but as long as they actually go ahead and put out good updates for the game also this 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 happened on a monday one and a half million people on a monday were playing whole world this is insane having almost double the numbers of the game of the year from last year, Baldur's Gate. I'm not saying Baldur's Gate is bad, but it's just insane to think about it. The, the cancelling part is uh, my favorite. This one. Which I saw. It, it's been going. Obviously, the AI stuff has been going around ever since the game saw its success. Like, when the game reached half a million people, it was already going around. People started digging up stuff about the company. Uh, and the game and you know how it is you know let's try to find the smallest thing to cheat on the game to try to cancel it to you know get people to not play the game uh, just like with every successful game because why should we have fun but uh, for everyone trying to dogpile on power climbing it's using AI it's not there is zero solid evidence they are uh, steam legally requires developers to disclose AI use now that's true there was a statement from steam official statement you can literally see on steam if a game is using ai and the developers have to say um, where the ai is being used which parts of the game have ai and steam uh pushed that update i think around the end of last year and honestly amazing update so now you know if you're gonna be buying a game or whatever playing you know if it has ai and like if you don't mind ai you can see which parts of a specific game have ai people are just smart it's doing so well through oh, wait let me zoom in so you can see better this is the original post don't believe the lies that power is using ai generated art um liars are claiming that power uses ai, AI art based on a post made by their uh you know, the problem is he was talking about buzzfeed using ai to create fake mon not pocket pair stuff hey, this is what this is what, uh, what i'm talking about they, they were trying to find something about the company they they saw something and they didn't even get the context but they immediately started talking shit the AI has evolved so much that I can no longer tell which one is a Pokemon. Left Pokemon like poster generated by AI, right? Real Pokemon. I forced a bot to look at every Pokemon and told it to generate its own. Okay, they, you can see they look a bit scuffed, you know? Uh, here is the CEO of Pocket Pair talking about using AI to bypass copyright. Generating fake mods with it, calling AI art in poster, a real-time image generation game, and being excited for games powered by GPT-4. Honestly, I don't see anything bad in using AI to give you an idea of, like, what a POW could look like. It can give you, like, you can see this. Like, you can use it as a basic idea and be like, okay, I can create something like that and then they can just make it. Uh, what are missing the sarcasm and uh, satire in the CEO's message too? Was by translation, maybe? Literally, yeah. And I, I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with getting an idea like that and just making it by hand. Like, oh, that, that's a cool idea. I can make something similar, blah, blah. 
The Pocket Bear team claims that Pokemon was not one of their main inspirations. According to the CEO Sekuro Mizove, the concept of Powerwatch is based on Ark Survival Evolved, which honestly, you can, you can clearly see that part, which also had monster companions in uh, Dinos, the survival mechanics and in game tasks were inspired by Rust. I've never played Rust. I've watched a bit, but Wow, the Dragon Quest series influenced the creature designs. I saw this multiple times about the Dragon Quest series. Early in development, it was decided to move the game from Unity, which uh, powered all of Pocket Pair's early projects, to Unreal Engine. Honestly, I wonder if they decided to do that with the Unity drama or before that. The game's budget exceeded 1 billion yen and the company hired over 40 additional employees. The fact that it combines uh, Ark and Pokemon is why I love it. Yeah, literally this is what people love about the game. Pokemon fans taking every opportunity to throw mud on a good game. Isn't this from Postword? This is a whole ass Leofeon. Leofeon isn't a squirrel and they certainly can use guns. Let's be honest here, even if they used AI, we should treat them like we did to Nintendo. Hey, can I copy your homework? <laughs> oh, it's not an like Leofeon, exactly. Dragon Quest. This is the Pokemon. And you can't even blame Pokemon for doing that. They saw the design. They slightly changed it. They got inspired by it. It's not like Dragon Quest has ownership of any like uh, animals. For other games to not make similar designs. Like, how dare you make a bat? We already have a bat. How dare you make a crab? How dare you make a squirrel? How dare you make any type of bird? <laughs> we already did it. Yeah, how many Pokemons are there nowadays? At this point, they have so many Pokemons that no matter what other game comes out that's like the same idea something will look like one of the pokemons and they're gonna start blaming them for uh stealing designs copying they used ai to make the concepts they read the concepts manually basically washing out the ai imperfections i mean this is what literally what i mentioned i don't see exactly anything wrong with that getting ideas it's not like they it's not like what we're talking about when it comes to AI replacing humans. I think AI is good to be used to help humans. And nowadays AI is evolving so much, we have to accept the fact that it's in our lives. It's everywhere. It shouldn't replace humans, it should help them. Nobody is claiming that power chooses AI art. This person hasn't used Twitter in a while, I guess. That was the biggest concern about the AI. They're acting uh, like games weren't copying each other's designs before AI, literally. Now the, no, but now they have AI to blame and it's uh, just convenient. Honestly, reading that, I don't understand all the hate if they used AI, so that's... Uh, so what? It's a tool. At the end of the day, they, the game looks interesting and fun, combining ideas and concepts from multiple places. By that logic, once human, which we just had the, uh, the quotes better, we should cancel that game as well. It's taking so much stuff from other existing games and people actually listed all the games that it's taking ideas from that we should blame them for copying and stealing as well. But instead, we are praising the game and all, honestly, it, it deserves its praise. It's an amazing game. I'm excited to play it as well. But by that logic, they're stealing as well. They're just probably lacking some AI parts to get the real blame. But I assume when the game actually releases, it's gonna get a lot of criticism as well. Interesting Twitter from all places with all the copium haters that just try to find the next thing to cancel. Ain't no way. You don't see anything positive on Twitter nowadays anyway. It's just full of hate.